Good morning. I hope that you're not just feeling well, but that you're seeing brocha in your life. Sometimes we actually have to open our eyes to notice certain things that we might have thought were minor that actually are brochas in our lives. So if you ever had a bad day, <laughs> we all have. It just feels that collectively for the last few months, we've had one long universal bad day. And it's a more extreme version, I suppose, of what happens in life. Life has its ups and downs. It has its days that are very challenging. And the question is, what do we do about them? We don't get to control and we don't get to choose. We don't get to choose when the difficult times will come. We only get to choose how we respond to them. Just this morning, I read a letter that the Rebbe had written to somebody. I don't know what they were dealing with, but clearly we're going through a personal challenge. And the Rebbe said to them, we do know that life will always have its downer moments. And we do know that we don't control those things. But equally, we know that Hashem does not abandon us. So he has a plan. We don't see that plan. We'll only see it in retrospect. But a big part of that plan is to allow us an opportunity to become stronger people who have deeper relationships with those who are important to us and who rise because of challenge, not in spite of challenge. So that means that there's a, a mantra that we need to repeat to ourselves, which is Hashem is in charge and Hashem is good. So even though I don't see that goodness right now, Hashem is good. And he's orchestrating exactly what's happening in my life right now. In addition to that, Hashem always empowers us first with the resources to be able to deal with the struggle before the struggle comes. Now, we don't necessarily recognize that we have those resources, but if we look inward, we'll surprise ourselves at what we find, how innovative we can be, how deep and introspective we can be, how positive we can be, and, of course, how much we can grow in spite of whatever's going on in our lives. So this might be an arena, this whole coronavirus experience might be an arena within which we are all in it together so we can share ideas and we can collaborate and we can learn from each other how to deal with the struggles in life generally. So we don't only come out of this and say, I survived, I got through it and I didn't lose my mind. But we come out of there and say, I survived with tools and insight that reprogram how I see the whole world and how I deal with what eventually will actually turn out to be much smaller struggles, please God, than what we're going through at the moment. So we daven that Hashem will end us really quickly and that everybody will be well and healthy and, and back in the saddle as soon as possible. And please God, that we'll all be stronger, deeper, more resilient and um, healthier in mind, body and spirit on the other side of this. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay sane.